I've been called the godfather of EVs. That's because as Chief Operating Officer of Nissan, I was responsible for bringing to market the Nissan LEAF, which was the first modern day electric vehicle. After that, I went on to be the CEO of Aston Martin. I owe it all to my decision to become an apprentice at the age of 16. My father bought me an A-series engine when I was 14 and I took it apart and put it back together again and again and again and again. It was then that I realized that I had a real passion for engineering. Welcome to my home workshop where I've recreated the tools that I had as an apprentice. Those hands-on skills that I learned are still relevant to me today. Employers really need to think beyond automatically asking for university degrees for applicants. The advantage of work-based training is that you can find the talent and then you can shape them to meet the culture of your business. All the studies show that apprentices or people that come from work-based training are much more loyal to the company and much more likely to stay longer. And it's not just apprenticeships. The government Skills for Life programme include T-levels, traineeships, HTQs and skills boot camps, and most of them are free to access. Now I've set up the Palmer Foundation, it aims to give kids from difficult backgrounds the opportunity to access an apprenticeship. I started as an apprentice, but today I'm the CEO of a startup company worth over a billion pounds. It's the electric bus manufacturer Switch Mobility, and it's the first automotive company in the world to be net carbon zero. I get a real buzz from now being able to go home and tell the family that I'm helping to detoxify the planet. I look back at my apprenticeship as some of the happiest days of my life, and now there are many more opportunities to access Skills for Life.